Recently I have purchased a few Hitachi external drive. It's the 3 terabyte Turo Desk Pro. I was hoping to use this as an as external devices, but then I realized that it took up they took up too much space. So I decided to uh, extract out the internal drive and use it in a network storage system. And you might ask, why do I spend money extra money on the external drive and uh, just use the internal drive instead? Well, the recent flood in Thailand made the in the internal drive generate higher demand, so the external drive be became cheaper. So I thought instead of go out and buy the internal drive again, might as well just use the just use the the internal drive by break up the box. The warranty may not be granted after I open this up, but what the heck? I'm gonna just use the internal drive anyway. So in order to do this, it'll probably take a minute or two. I need to use the uh, joint knife that I can get from Home Depot for probably five dollars, and also a couple tools that I purchased to uh, open up my um, iPod to exchange the uh, battery. You also need some strength to uh, pry open the box, and once the box open, I don't think you can put it back nicely. So uh, make sure that you absolutely aware that you will not be able to use the box once it's open. So here's how we started. Um, on the on the back of the Hitachi, Hitachi drive, where you see the external connect, uh, the where you see the. Um, the input for the uh, DC power and the USB 3.0 you'll see the letter Hitachi right here 3 terabyte what you want to do is you want to open the front of the drive which is the side where the letter H of the Hitachi started if you open the other side you'll see that there's a um, compartment that is um, not open for you to ex extract the drive so you need to open from the front. Okay, so here's how how it goes. Take the take the joint. That's it. Two connectors been broken. So I need to move around. Open up some more connector. Broken. We just use our hand to pry up to pry open. Usually, I like to use the uh, the iPod tool to help. There's another one on the side. By the way, if you get injury from this, it's at your own risk. So be careful. So go to the side, repeat the same process. That's it. It's open. So once the, the two joints on this side broken, the corner joints broken, you can use your hand and just pry it open. Lift the drive up like that.
and then the LED connector you can move it off and that's the drive this is the uh, Model HDS seven two three zero three zero ALA six four zero type DK seven S AD three hundred. And if my memory serves me well, the same drive is sold for over two hundred and fifty dollars online. And I got the external drive for less than two hundred. So you figure it out. Anyway, that's all. The only other thing that, uh, that I need to uh, remove is the uh, this USB interface connector. So just unscrew it. Jiggle it a little bit. That's it. So now I can just mount this onto uh, the tray that came with my NAS and I'm able to use it as an internal drive. By the way, I do have to unscrew this side too because this protector here is not needed and it will not fit into my uh, NAS. That's the drive, the internal drive. So thank you for watching. This is James from PetFans.net. Peace.